12 in the diagram below, triangle LMO is isosceles with LO equal to MO. If measure of angle L is 55 and measure of angle NOM is 28, what is the measure of angle N? So we're looking for angle N. First they tell us LMO is isosceles, so LMO. So that means isosceles means two of its sides are the same. Well, which two sides? LO equal to MO. So LO is this guy, and MO is this guy. So if those two sides are equal, then their opposite angles must be equal. So if angle L equals 55, that corresponds to this side then angle M must also be 55 because that corresponds to this side. This, remember this, this is the base angle formula. right? So that angle relates to that side and that angle relates to that side. So if these two sides are equal, these two angles must be equal. So LMO is 55 as well. And then we also know the measure of NOM. NOM, this guy here, is 28. That's been given to us. And they want to know the measure of angle N. So we can subtract. This is a straight angle, right? So if this is 55, then the angle on this side must be 180 minus 55, which is 125. And now we can just work with triangle MNO. And its internal angles must add up to 180. So angle N must be 180 minus 125 minus 28, which is 27. Best choice is 1.